Hello. We've been studying about volume and using unit cubes to find the volume of rectangular prisms. So, here is a picture of a rectangular prism. And a rectangular prism is a three-dimensional shape that is composed of six rectangle faces. And we've been concentrating on counting these cubes, these unit cubes, in order to determine the rectangular prism's volume. And volume is just how much space the rectangular prism takes up, or anything takes up. This is just one of these unit cubes. And one of the most important things that students can learn to do is to see these unit cubes when presented in a two-dimensional format, such as this paper cutout. And so what this means is recognizing that each of these faces here are part of the same cube. And so when counting the cubes, it's important to recognize that we're counting a cube and we're not just counting square faces because the square faces that we see may not correspond to different cubes, but the same cube. Another important skill for students to have is to be able to see layers of cubes. So I'm going to show three different ways that I chose to show the layers or possible layers that can be seen in this rectangular prism. So in this case, I saw that there were a total of four layers of unit cubes in this prism. And in order to determine how many cubes are in each layer, I concentrated on this layer that I can see the most of, which is right here. And then I can simply count all the cubes that I see in this layer. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cubes there. Well, if I know that I have four layers and I have twelve cubes in a layer, I can use this simple multiplication expression to figure out the total number of cubes, which is the volume of the rectangular prism. So with four layers and 12 cubes in each layer, I can determine that the volume is 48 cubic units. And it's important to always express volume measurements in terms of cubic units. But that's just one way that you could break up this rectangular prism. Here's another way. In this example, I color the rectangular prism in such a way that there are two layers. And in each of these two layers, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four cubes. Well, if I multiply two by twenty four, I also get 48 cubic units. A final way that I chose to show the layers 
or a possible way that I could have shown layers in this rectangular prism is shown here. And here I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes in a layer. And I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six layers. And again, the multiplication expression I can use gives us a volume of 48 because six layers multiplied by eight cubes in each layer is 48 unit cubes or 48 cubic units of volume. I hope this helps being able to look at two-dimensional representations of rectangular prisms and coloring them in different ways to show uh, the layers that are present. This work will lead us to a more formal formula of volume. Um, that will often make use of using layers and multiplying by the number of layers in order to find the total volume. I hope this video is helpful, and thank you for watching.